Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more of news and speculation and talking. Um, yeah, we came across this new, uh, I guess, story surrounding Legends of Runeterra. As many of you know, the newest expansion is going to be hitting the servers March 3rd. So we're coming up pretty quickly, quickly here and we're going to be coming up to uh, the spoiler season. Of Legends of Runeterra. So as a disclaimer, this is a spoiler video. If uh, and I mean, it's, nothing is confirmed at the moment, but but um, we'll go through here and and show you what they have found, and we're pretty sure that that this is most likely um, going to be the uh, champion lineup. So um, yeah, kind of an interesting video today. What I'm going to go through is go through the champions. I'm going to go through which ones I think are going to be released and the order they're going to be released and what part of the the set they're going to be released in. As many of you know, there are three um, expansions to a set. So the set is going to be Sharima and three um, expansions during that set for about the next six months. The first one, Empires of the Ascended. The second, Guardians of the Ancient, and then the third is the Rise of the Underworld. So kind of interesting here. Um, yeah, so somebody found, well it wasn't somebody that found it. The reason why it's fairly certain that this is, you know, an actual leak is that it was released by Skin Spotlights, which is normally used for, you know, League of Legends and their skins. And, and anyway, we got kind of a... a data mine release, I don't know exactly what it was, with some of their voice lines and they discovered who the voice lines belong to. There's I think, what to say, 14 champions here, we can go through them, but let's let's go ahead and listen to the voice lines first, because a lot of them are pretty interesting, so here you go. Nothing stays, Lysandra, not even Winter. I am Eternal Keeper, and Winter does as I bid it. You, who are you, Willy? Why spoil the surprise? They all sink before they float. Ted should stay dead. He will soon wish he had. There's my favorite giant talking rock mountain. Where is he? I will break him. Okay, so this is called a Z drive. And how many hex texts does this one cost? I mourn the loss of Shirima's greatest hero. He was betrayed by his brother. Aren't you Nasus's brother, a ruined toad, rat tongue? <laughs> Come face me, deceiver. Patience, dear. Only fools rush in. All right, and that's the end of it. And um, yeah, that. I mean, the voice lines seem really re legit. They sound like the the ones that we have in game so far, and um, this is what they said the voices belong to. A lot of them are a lot more recognizable than others. For example, like Pike, you knew who Pike was. Um, uh, you knew who who Zillion and Echo were as well, and Lissandra because it was like directly. Um, Lissandra's name was actually spoke or said right by Zillion. And, um, yeah, Renekton as well. Renekton roaring there at the end, Mad and LeBlanc. Anyway, so here is the list we have. Azir, Echo, Irelia, Jarvan, Kindred, Lysandra, Malphite, Nasus, Pike, Renekton, Sivir, Talia, and Zillion. And there's some interesting champions in there, two of which, um, that kind of stand out to me are Zillion and Malphite, who don't really belong to any of the regions uh, or before mentioned regions and i guess as well kindred to an extent although um it does fit into a theme i believe uh, in shadow isles because it's you know they're kind of the aspect of death um for for uh rune terra but um anyway yeah some interesting champions like i said uh zillion and malphite don't belong to a region and it'll be kind of interesting to see how they fit in malphite definitely has some sort of synergy with talia and at least relatableness as they both mess around with rocks so um anyway yeah it seems pretty legit there are a couple things i guess that kind of make it seem not as as likely um but but you know it 
they kind of it's following kind of the same pattern here. We've got the same amount of champions, I believe, as last time. Maybe one extra, but um, you also notice that there are no champions from Targon, which there I think is only one more champion, uh, Rip to Pantheon, who didn't really, <laughs> who doesn't exist now, and doesn't look like he's going to exist if this is an accurate leak. Um, I guess he did get a little bit of a cameo with the the celestial card. That's the warrior. I think that's supposed to be the aspect of war. So, anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. We don't have Targon cards. It looks like, which is actually kind of interesting as well. Brings up another question: Are we going to be getting Targon cards, more Targon cards, with this set if there aren't going to be any new champions from Targon? And I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Um, that we aren't getting any champions because we got an extra one in Aphelios. And so that pattern is likely to continue in the next set, which is probably going to be the Void. Um, but um, that we, will, we won't we will see any new Sharima champions. And so, um, which does, again, bring up a little bit of questions around this because a lot of the Sharima champions here seem to not be from that region like Malphite and Zillion, who seem to be geared up to be um, Sharima's champions. And uh, one notable absence here, I think, is Zerath, who is kind of Azir's enemy. So it's interesting that Azirath is not here. All right, so um, quickly here, in case you guys don't know, I'm going to go through and tell you which regions each of these are from. So from Demacia, we have Jarvan from Noxus, we've got LeBlanc, and those two are kind of, have kind of a, a um, rivalry as well. They have a lot of lore that's mixed up together. Um, from Bilgewater, we have Pike. Ionia has Irelia. Piltover and Zahn has Echo. Freljord has Lissandra. Shadow Isles, I'm guessing, is going to be Kindred, although it's kind of an unaffiliated champion in uh, League of Legends. And then for Sharima, we have Azir, we have Malphite, we have Nasus, Renekton, Sivir, Talia, and Zillion. So all of those are going to be in Sharima, which is a total of six champions in Sharima, which again follows the same pattern that we have now for Targon. Um, six champions in Targon, so kind of interesting. Um, yeah, the Zillion and Malphite still a little bit confusing, and I guess there is a possibility that that those cards, one of them is going to Targon, although it's kind of unlikely. Um, yeah, so, so pretty exciting. Their voice lines are pretty cool as well. And um, yeah, I'm going to break down and kind of guess where these champions are going to lie and and what order they're going to be coming out in. So let's go ahead and look over here at the 2021 roadmap. So we just barely had the Aphelios release here in February. Now in March, we've got the first set, Emperors of the Ascended. In May, we've got Guardians of the Ancient. In June, Rise of the Underworlds, and in July, we have the champion, what does it say, expansion here for a certain champion that we are going to get into. So, um, yeah, I'll get into my official predictions now, and we can kind of look at some other of the, uh, some more of the art that they have released that's most likely going to be card art. Um, more of these pictures in greater detail as I go through the champions and where they're going to land. All right, so I've got all of this written out now. Um, I've got the champions here to the side that I can look at to see where I think they are going to go. And yeah, I just kind of want to start by looking at the art for these cards and for, you know, what's going to be coming here. So I think this one in March, this looks like it is going to be a landmark, more than likely. I forget what it's called. Um, it's it's a Zero's... Um, little tower thing that he sets up. So this is most likely just going to be Azir being released here. And um, doesn't look like we've got art for that one in particular, but a lot of these other ones we do. And so just right at the top, this is going to be kind of the um, the Aurelian soul of Sharima, I believe, is going to be Azir, who's kind of like the resurrected, um, brought back to life, 
um, emperor of Sharima. And um, you guys have to go and look through the lore. I'm not a huge expert on it, but I know that Sharima was kind of, they have this uh, power that makes these these mortals ascend into gods, godlike beings, and Azir was one of them. In the past, um, Sivir or somebody ended up waking him up. Sivir was a descendant of Azir, wake, w woke him up, something like that, and then Azir came back into power, and this is kind of who is the emperor of Sharima now. So we have Azir. Um, and then as secondary, I just think that we're going to have Sivir as well. Sivir is going to be there as well. A lot of uh, people think that We'll, we'll go on a little tangent here. A lot of people think or, or have speculated that that this art could be for Sivir, which is, you'll see here, the champion expansion. But on closer, like looking at this a little bit closer, we see there's rock formations in the background. Rocks around this girl's neck here. Um, a spyglass. It does kind of seem like this could be kind of a treasure hunter, which kind of fits Sivir's, you know, what she does she's also a mercenary though but the rock formations make me think that the champion expansion is going to be talia and so i'll just get her out of the way right now i think talia is going to be the champion expansion at the very end of the set which is interesting because like i said before she has some sort of synergistic qualities with malphite and rocks all right so um yeah, as, as, as I was going through this a little bit, I was kind of looking at, at the champions and who I thought was going to be in the initial release, and Jarvan was one that stood out, as well as LeBlanc, because those two have kind of a, a thing going together here, um, which is pretty interesting. And then you'll hear in the voice line as well, I believe Irelia is also talking to LeBlanc and Noxus and Ioni, of course, have beef with each other as well. And this is kind of where I was at the beginning. You know, this is where Empires of the Ascended is. Um, there are a couple more. I'm not sure which ones are going to be in it, but we'll, by order process of elimination, kind of add more to that. All right, so Guardians of the Ancient. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and look at the art for Guardians of the Ancient. I forget which one it is. It's this one here. Guardians of the Ancient. So we look here, and what do we see? We see these little guys flopping off this wall, and we see here what appears to be a sundial. A sundial um, time. So who has... You know anything to do with time in the in this entire game well um, there's a champion here called zillion so it looks like zillion is going to be in guardians of the ancient so i think zillion is going to be the first one from shirima and guardians of the ancient and then just by association i have really no other reason to believe that echo won't be in there either um echo is the only other um, Maybe I'm wrong about this. I'm pretty sure, though. Echo is the only other champion that has anything to do with time. So it seems like the two could fit together. Um, and so that's why I'm also placing Echo in Guardians of the Ancient. And as, as, I, was, as I was looking and, and reviewing over the champions and who else I thought was going to be in there, um, I looked up the Nasus and Renekton's bios here, and they're both really telling. Um, what does it say here? Fiercely intelligent. He was a guardian of knowledge and peerless strategist whose wisdom guided the ancient emperor of Sharima to greatness for many centuries. So here we see here a guardian and the set is called, or the expansion is called Guardians of the Ancients. So it looks like there's a good chance Nasus is going to be in here too. Um, which is also kind of interesting because, you know, Renekton and Nasus are kind of mortal enemies here, so, you know, that got me thinking about Renekton. Well, Renekton is a terrifying rage-fueled ascended being from the scorched deserts of Shurima. Once he was uh, his emperor's most esteemed warrior, leading the nation's armies to countless victories. However, after the empire's fall, Renekton was entombed beneath the sands. Hmm. Sounds like he's under something. Under the sands? Beneath? under anyway so it looks like looks like if renekton's going to be in rise of the underworld if if i were to guess renekton is going to be in rise of the underworlds now one thing one problem that we have with this so the art and and i'm just going solely on the art here 
this may not be, you know, art that is, that matches up with the timeline, you know, like this could be art from like the first expansion of the set, but I'm kind of relying on this being art that's going to be released during the second expansion. So um, at no point during Targon did we have two champions from Targon released, right? Released um, during the second part of the expansion. So we had, for the second expansion for Targon, we had Soraka released. Soraka, Shivana, and Tom Kinch. And then for the third part of the expansion for um, for for this uh, last, uh, for Targon, we had Zoe, Victor, and um, Riven. So the the one the one thing that we have here in Guardians of the Ancient is that we have both Zillion and Nasus, who we are saying are from um, Shurima. So this already is kind of breaking that mold of having you know four champions from Shurima in the first expansion of the set, and then only one you know following in each subsequent expansion so anyway there's that to to consider as well all right and then rise of the underworlds of course i mean kindred if it's from shadow isles aspect of death and um pike as well pike seems like he would fit into that narrative as well you know kind of went into the ocean and died and came back kind of half alive half dead so there we got Pike. So it seems like these sets are filled out now, with the caveat that Zillion and Nasus may switch spots with something else, but it could work out. All right, and then we just fill in the rest here into this top one. What we have left over is um, Lissandro, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing one, I think. Oh, Malphite. Malphite. Um, and this seems kind of strange as well. So we say Malphite is from Sharima. We got Malphite, Azir, and Sivir from Sharima, Jarvan, LeBlanc, Irelia, Lysandra. Um, yeah, we'll see if that actually holds true. Not for sure here. This could be kind of weird because we had four champions or at least from Targon, and it looks like in this one it might be only three. Um, and on top of that as well, as we've already mentioned, Malphite and Zillion don't really fit into Shurima, and I'm kind of upset that they didn't have Zerath, and I think all of you should be upset as well that Zerath isn't included right now. Alright, so that's it here. Um, this is my official prediction, and we'll see if I'm right about it. I'm, I'm pretty confident in Rise of the Underworlds. I think Guardians of the Ancient Empires of the Ascended might have one or two of those champions switched between them, but, but for the most part, I think that's what it's going to be here. Um, we didn't look at the art for Rise of the Underworlds because it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, kind of this ancient Egypt sort of feel um, with, with, yeah, these dogs here and, and, um, yeah, maybe I'm wrong about Nasus too, but Nasus was the guardian. Was Nasus underground here? Who knows? Got some guy here being sucked up in sand or something. I don't know. Something over here as well. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, I'm fairly excited for the expansion. I imagine that's kind of a second guess here that we're going to get some sort of teaser Sunday or Monday. And then after that, we're going to be running into spoiler season pretty quickly here. So, so I wanted to get this out before we kind of started hitting that and and um, and talk a little bit more about these cards that should be released. And yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. This is going to be fun. Um, this this last expansion with Aphelios was pretty fun as well. We got a ton of interesting cards, and hopefully we continue with that and start to get more. And more interesting cards and deck ideas and and start you know getting excited for the new season so anyway if you enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we will see you tomorrow thanks